Is there protester fatigue out there? We saw for the second year in a row protesters, Black Lives Matters protesters, uh, walking down the magnificent mile in Chicago. They did manage to disrupt a lot of business there, at least earlier in the afternoon, until Mother Nature, the cold, I guess, forced them to break up about 3 o'clock this afternoon. But we're seeing here, as we so often see in these kinds of protests, a, a muddled message. Is it indeed the Black Lives Matter protest? Is it the president-elect? Is it immigration policy? Is it uh, Wall Street? We saw the, the uh, Occupy Wall Street protest kind of dissolved because there was such a, a mixed message from them. It, it just didn't stand the test of time, like the Vietnam War protested when we saw their objections were the Vietnam War. Kara? You, you, yeah, these, these protests tend to be more effective when you're able to say not only what it is you're against, but what you want to see happen now. And um, I think, though, the Black Lives Matter movement has had some, you know, some real effects in some real cities in this country. Once you have them with the stop Trump with the everybody else, that, that does sort of complicate and confuse the message. But when we see this morph into the actual shooting of police officers, it takes on a whole new light. And well, and I actually think it's the Black Lives Matter protesters that helped elect Donald Trump, because I think there was a lot of Americans across the country. When you see buildings being burnt down, cities being burnt down, police cars being burned, uh, and some of the rhetoric that we've seen from uh, some of the individuals that associate with that movement, uh, I think that's part of the reason that Donald Trump ran. He ran on a law as a law enforcement candidate, and I think they helped him get elected. Charles? It's what James Dean said 60 years ago in Rebel Without a Cause when he was asked, what are you rebelling against? And he said, what do you got? <laughs> These are people who are as unserious as Occupy Wall Street, and they will, as the winds of winter approach, they will dissipate. We won't see them again. Will they arise again during a Trump administration? Or they'll arise when spring comes and the weather's good, and then they'll disappear again next fall.